Hi, I'm Nick Poole. I'm Research Coordinator for FAR and I've been working in disease management research for the last eight years in Australia. Today's podcast is brought to you as part of GRDC's High Rainfall Zone Communication Program. Uh, some of the growers in the Southern Farming Systems area have actually been asking us about early control measures for disease this coming spring. And it's probably not just uh, stem rust that prospered last year, but also stripe rust and leaf rust. And so I think that we can expect probably higher pressure this coming spring than we may have noted for some seasons. With regards to how we actually handle that infection, I think we need to bear in mind that our research last year showed again that the flag leaf spray in this longer season area um, is still the principal spray to win you economic benefits. Whether you spray before that flag leaf spray or what measure you adopt before then will actually depend on what you did at planting. So if you were to have used a long um, lasting seed treatment or an infero fungicide we would expect that in this longer season part of uh, Victoria to last through until at least probably growth stage 31 or 32, the first or second node. In other parts of the country we might expect that to go right the way through to flag leaf, but we have noted that it may not get us right the way to flag leaf in southern Victoria. So. Looking at your crop for evidence of those rusts moving in, particularly at the start of stem elongation, growth stage 30, 31, 32, is the critical time for those early measures before you put the flag leaf spray on.